So today's going to be a little bit different. I have recently participated in a beauty versus pain challenge and I decided to reach a larger audience. I wanted to share this here today because I feel like it's really important to understand the struggles people go through. So what you're watching right now is the side of my face that I decided to do in the beauty way. This is the face that I think we all put on when we're around people and when we feel like we have to portray a certain demeanor. I feel like this is the brighter side and the side we want people to see. And for me, in the last year, this is the side that has become more real. Um, this is the side that really shows who I am now, but not who I've always been. Uh, this is the side that gets up and looks forward to the day and wants to know what the future has in store. It's bright and sparkly and excited to live life like we all should be. And it's really hard to put into words exactly what this means. And it's a really hard thing to talk about. Because as I'm sure everybody knows, this isn't the only side that most people have. And if you don't know that, it's really important to reach out and to understand that for some people, this side is just that. It's, it's a side, it's, it's a mask that some of us have to wear to be normal. then we have the other side. <clears throat> this is the side that I haven't spoken on on my channel yet. This is the side that sometimes you don't want to get up in the morning. You don't, you don't feel happy. You don't feel, you don't feel inspired. For me, this is a really dark side of myself. And it's something that I've struggled with my entire life. Um, as a teen and as a kid, I was bullied a lot, like a lot of us are. And sometimes even as an adult, you can feel those same attacks even though they don't come across the same way. But it's important, I think, for everyone to understand that we all have our personal struggles and things that bother us. And for some people, even just the smallest word, the smallest criticism can cause them to tear their self down and beat themselves up over something. Something that they, they already knew, something they're already aware of that they struggle every day to change. And I used this as a representation because these words that I'm writing, and yes, I know they're backwards on camera, these are some of the things people have said to me over the years. And like most people, these are things that I know about myself. I know that I'm anxious. I know that I mess up. And I know that at times I feel wrong. But that's not all that I am. And I feel like for some people that just overshadows the good. My hope in posting this is that if you are struggling with who you are, and with the issues you face. I hope that you can reach out and find someone to talk to and figure out a way to accept yourself for who you are because who you are is truly beautiful no matter what anyone has told you. We all have our problems and we all have our flaws but our flaws are what really makes, makes us who we are. I hope this helps someone and comment below and find a friend if you need one. Bye, you guys.